morning, angels. It's Jules Zellum from Catalyst Plus. I'm your Queen Calculator. And today, I hope you're all going really well. Thank you for everybody that has joined and is joining um, on our Facebook Live today. So, because today we're going to talk about the Job Keeper payment, it is now legislated. Woohoo, that's great. It's all happening. It's the $1,500 per fortnight for eligible employers for their employees. This is just a very basic wage. Um, it's a minimum, a minimum payment. So, um, so, well, a minimum and maximum payment. So it's a flat rate that you're going to get for your employees if your business has had significant turnover reduction over the um, due to COVID-19. It's a 30% reduction is what you need to, to prove and show on your business activity statement. And we're also looking at how, um, how it's going to be implemented. So the great news is now we actually have the ATO guidance of how they want for us to apply for this. So we've all registered um, our interest, which is great, which means that we're on the list. The second thing that we now need to do is we have to um, go through all the steps. So I was smart this time. I'm learning this whole Facebook Live thing. I've put the link for the ATO guidance on the actual post here. So that's really great for us all. Um, you can use it as a reference point. What you need to do is make sure that you're going through the steps. So, um, so the first thing is to figure out if you're an eligible employer, and that's basically um, for most of the businesses that are looking um, into our world, um, into our calculator world, the Catalyst Plus calculator world, is the um, the thirty percent reduction in turnover or um, if you're less than a billion dollars in turnover. So that's that's pretty much the number that we're all looking at. Um, so that's really great. You must have employed at least one eligible employee as of the 1st of March. Um, so they must have been employed. Um, and if you're a sole trader or in partnership, um, you must be able to demonstrate that your business has re um, reduced in your turnover as well. So, um, so sole traders and partnerships, they're still included and, and yeah, we're, we're all included in that. So once we've figured out that, yeah, yes, we're eligible employer, employers, then we have to go through our eligible employees. So to be eligible as an employee, you must have been permanent, full-time or part-time employee as of the 1st of March, or a long-term casual employee. So this one has been really, really confusing to a lot of people. They've all gone, oh, the permanent full-times and the part-times need to have been employed for 12 months. That is not the case. It's permanent full-time, part-time employee. So somebody that is getting the annual leave um, accrued on the 1st of March, 2020, right? So that's that one. The casual long-term employee must be a long-term casual, meaning somebody that has been employed in your business for the last 12 months on a regular basis. Um, so not somebody that, you know, just pops in once a month and um, or every now and then um, when you've got um, reduction in, in income, um, it's got to be uh, like reduction in people, sorry. Um, so yeah, like they have to be on a regular weekly, um, weekly or fortnightly kind of um, schedule, if that kind of makes sense. So um, the other thing is that the eligible employee must be at least 16 years of age as of the 1st of March, 2020, and they must be an Australian resident. So, um, so an Australian resident, meaning somebody that is allowed on um, to receive social security um, benefits under the Centrelink um, mechanism. And the other thing is they were not in receipt of the paid parental or dad and partner pay um, 
or part of the workers compensation law um so for incapacity of work so those two things are the newest parts of the legislation so if you're already getting the the paid parental leave you're not going to get job keeper allowance um and if you're already on workers comp you're not going to get the job keeper allowance so so those are a, a little bit more of the mechanisms so then what's going to happen is um so We've now figured out if we're an eligible employer and who our eligible employees are, the next step for us to do is to go through the process, right? So we've all, um, so step one is register your interest. If you haven't already done that, do it on the ATO website. If you've already clicked the button on our email, please don't do this because we've already done it for you, okay? So um, if you're part of our email list and you've, taken up that offer um, last week, please do not do this first step. Um, if you're doing this on your own, that's why I'm going through the extra steps, okay? So, um, so register your interest on the ATO website. We've checked our employees and employers meet the eligibility requirements. And now the step three is where it gets really gritty. We need to make sure that we've paid the $1,500 to each eligible employee for the JobKeeper fortnight from the fortnight beginning the 30th of March all the way, um, so there's the 30th of March and then I think it's the 12th of April. And both of those payments, so the $3,000 for those four weeks must be physically paid to the employees as of the 30th of April. Um, if you don't do that in May, when we go to claim it, you won't be entitled to the money. So, um, so we, so that's a real kick. But you cannot do that payment unless you filled in um, a JobKeeper employee nomination notice. Okay, so. If you're already on our list and you've already signed up, we're going to send you an email to tell you we're doing a special webinar with your steps outlined. Um, if you are doing this on your own, the link that I've, I've got on this, this post is definitely going to help you and make sure that um, you can follow these steps step by step. Um, so yeah, it is a little bit complex, but that's, that's the nature of this. Um, once you've got that nomination notice and you've paid the employees and you've notified your um, employees that you're going to claim for them, um, then what you need to do is from the 20th of April, you will enroll with the JobKeeper payment using the business portal or for us, the good old tax agent portal for you. Um, and then every single month, we have to keep complying with this, okay? So every single month, we're going to have to um, say, yes, we definitely are still entitled to this JobKeeper allowance. Please pay us, we've already paid our employees. So it's going to be a payment in arrears after you've already paid your employees for the JobKeeper allowance. So um, so yeah, so that's, that's it. Um, so, I don't think there's anything else I can go through about this. It is a really complex thing. For all of you that have signed up for um, our offer last week, watch out for that webinar. We're pulling it together. It is hot off the press. This information only came out on the ATO website about three o'clock last, um, last night, um, three o'clock yesterday, I mean. Um, and, and yeah, it's been a lot to read. So I hope, I hope this is, this small little snippet has been helpful. It's been so awesome seeing you all online. Thank you so much for joining. So much calculator love. Get out there, go for a walk and have a cup of coffee. See you later. Bye.